Hey you guys, Scott with Heritage Farms Texas. Hey, uh, the video you're going to see today is going to showcase uh, the painting of the fence project that we did at our Telephone 2 property. Uh, all summer we've been working on a fence project. Uh, we put in metal corner post, metal stretch post. We did a really nice metal entrance into the property. And uh, there's there's been some other videos we did out there. The first thing we did was all of this uh, corner post and everything was made out of drill stem. So it was a little bit rusty uh, coming from the oil fields. So we did a couple of things to prep the pipe the first we did was we uh, painted it with OSPO, O-S-P-H-O, which is a rust inhibitor. The second step we did was we used Sherwin-Williams Industrial Marine Grade Primer and actually put a uh, primer coat on there, uh, which is just incredible stuff. I can't say enough about how great that primer is. The uh, third step we did was we came back and we painted it with uh, silver aluminum enamel oil-based paint from Sherwin-Williams. This is their marine grade rust proof paint. And uh, let me tell you what, that really made it pop. It looks very durable. I think the three stages we did was the proper prep work. So I'm hoping that this paint job will last many, many, many years. And there's individual videos on our channel from each one of those stages you can check out as well. So today's video is the final video on painting the fence post. Hope you guys enjoy it. You're going to see my oldest daughter and also my wife. They're going to do some work out there. Uh, thank them for all of their help. My youngest daughter was also involved in it. Everybody's had some action in painting fence around our place. So uh, glad this chapter is behind us. But hey, enjoy the video and uh, tell me what you think. Did we make the right choice? Also, do us a favor. If you don't mind, please hit the subscribe button. It costs nothing. Ring the little bell, and then you'll get future notifications from our channel. You don't have to watch, but hey, it really helps us if you guys would subscribe. Leave us a comment, positive, negative. Tell me what you think. Love to hear from you, and I'll also swing by and check out your channel. I love to learn about new YouTube channels. So, hey, glory be to God. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, I want you to check this out, man. So the ladies have been painting. They've been using a Sherwin-Williams heavy industrial uh, rust resistant paint. This is a silver metallic and uh, supposedly one of the most durable paints Sherwin-Williams has. And uh, you can see it is pretty, pretty, pretty. They've done a good job on that. So we're standing at the end of our property. I say the end of our property, end of the frontage road. And we're down here at the uh, cattle pen, the working pens. So we talked about building a trap. So what have we done today? Well, we came in here and uh, we have set a wood post on 10 foot centers. And then we came in between the wood post and put a T post in between them. And we're gonna string five wires of bob wire. And, uh, you know, it's all about a visual. This is a trap, so hopefully it's not like a crowding pen. There's not gonna be a lot of activity. The main thing is to get them all in here. Then we got them trapped. Then we can actually uh, try to figure out what we're gonna do next. So uh, this right here should be pretty good. But anyway, we got our post set. We got the T post set. Need to come back and uh, adjust some of the T posts, get them all the same height. So down there, we've got six metal posts that we need to set for the gate. And then we get a little bit of welding on that end and we should be pretty good, but uh, progress. So then it's a, kind of a cold, dreary day here in North Texas. I mean, it's been misting most of the morning, but it was a great day to burn. So this huge pile where we had all the crepe myrtles that we took out, um, We've been burning all day long and uh, we're making pretty good progress. You can see we got this thing going our direction and just, man, what a difference a couple of weeks. You can see we got the first side of the fence in for the trap. We have to come back and set the corners, of course, and uh, put the gates, run the bob wire. But hey, major progress. You know, we're getting pretty good at this fence stuff, unfortunately. But uh, man, the fire's been doing awesome today. We have been piling it. 
restacking it, shoving it. You know, we take the uh, pallet forks on the tractor, turn them down, and we just keep shoving stuff back on the top, back on the top, and it keeps burning and burning and burning. So uh, pretty excited about that. And then up here, this is the main entrance, and the ladies are up here painting, and uh, things are looking pretty good. Let's go up here and check out what they're doing today. So, uh, once again, silver metallic. That was the color that won out. I know, guys, we've been talking about what we were going to do, if it was going to be white, black, uh, silver. Well, the Sherwin-Williams silver metallic seemed to get the bill. So, look at them. They're over here painting. They've got the MTX sound bar playing country music on the uh, deal. This is the A-Team. Got my daughter and the CEO, CFO working. So uh, they're doing an outstanding job of painting the fence, but let's check out this side. So you can see the main entrance. Pretty good, looks pretty good. Look at how much better this looks. All those cedar, all those crepe myrtle trees are gone. You got full visibility when you pull up. And then over here, you got the gray primer that they're working on, but on this side, it's already finished. Awesome stuff. Thanks guys, more to follow. Okay, well the ladies of uh, Heritage Farm got the uh, front entrance way painted. So they went with uh, the big reveal as we went with silver metallic, which is a rust resistant, heavy duty oil based enamel. We got the double 12 foot preferred bull gates, which are heavy, heavy duty. And you can see we got this side done. So, uh, looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, all right, guys, it's been a good day. We got a lot of work done. The Kubota 850 RTV sidekick doing well. And we got the little burn pile going over there and uh, the trap project is well underway. And we're making progress. More to follow. Thanks, guys.